Howdy folks, Angel over at AJ's Exchange, and today's installment, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Thoroughgid Roofers. On the left, we've got the Portage Indigo 823-9111s, and then on the right, we have the 823-3111s in uh, desert sand, I believe it, the, the proper name is. So, as you can see, they're both lace to toe boots, and they are they have come to be a pretty pretty iconic style boot. Um, and in my opinion, Thoroughgood does a great great job at doing the roofer lace to toe style boot uh, plenty of other companies make lace to toe boots uh, some, company, some companies uh, like Chippewa call them the monkey boot uh, and I'm not sure what Red Wing calls their version um, but I feel like uh, <clears throat> Thoroughgood does the best job Reason being is well. For one, I mean, let's take a let's take a quick second to appreciate this one here. And I'm using LED lighting in my garage on my dirty workbench. But this color here is just—it really is phenomenal. It's a it's a rough out leather, desert sand color. And then here you have a horse rump leather which uh, I wish I knew more but I will plug a good friend of mine his name is Dale and he's got a YouTube channel called uh, Arrow Surfer LV check him out he's got a great uh, couple of videos well he's got tons of great boot videos but he's got two videos each one covering each one of these two here okay now the difference between his and mine, well, for one, we have the Pisgah laces. Let's see if I can get a, uh, there, is that good? So these are Pisgah range LTD laces. I've made a YouTube video on these. If you follow me on Instagram, you definitely know about my love for this brand. Uh, each one of my boots, I carry Pisgah Range Limited laces. They're military grade power cord. Uh, right here is the khaki tan color. And they just happen to match up with these uh, desert sands. Perfect. Over here, with the indigos... I have the olive greens, or is it olive drab? I think it's the olive drab color. He's got so many colors. I have such a hard time keeping track of each one of his colors. <laughs> uh, anyhow, these have the gun uh, brass aglets. So that right there tells you, because uh, if you know about Pisgah Range laces, he gives you the choice of brass or gunmetal, which matches really nice with uh, nickel eyelets. So these are the olive drab with the brass, and these are the desert uh, khaki tan with the brass. I actually bo purchased both of these to uh, to complement this boot here. Uh, but I mean, you can't tell me that the olive drab doesn't go with that indigo color. Now this indigo color, what I love about it so much, uh, first thing is they are dyed with natural indigo. So the same things that our raw denim is made, is uh, dyed with, same stuff, all right? So I wouldn't be surprised if it chips off the same and you get some crazy fades over, over time. Uh, if you see here, I do have a couple of nicks. Um, which brings me to my second difference between Aero Surfer LV, which I said is a good friend of mine. Uh, we talk all the time on Instagram. Uh, 
is these mine are pretty scuffed up. Mine are pretty well scuffed up. And I have no problem leaving them that way and not attempting to repair that. There's something about it with these boots here. So I'm gonna I'm going to uh, reference Dale Aero Surfer LV one more time. He 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 says these uh, resemble. It almost looks like they were designed by a mad scientist, and I have to agree. Can you not? Um, just the the contrast of the two different leathers. You got the light rough out leather, the dark finished leather and then you've got this not only that you've got this emerald green contrast stitching oh there's some crocking there didn't even notice that so you've got the collar with that same that same contrast leather horse rump and then do 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 you got the back straps which also have that horse rump leather Another great thing about a lot of Thoroughgoods is their Nor Norwegian welt. They have double stitching on their welt, which makes it more waterproof, more weatherproof. It'll keep your feet drier for longer in uh, shallow, you know, deep puddles and stuff. Uh, Again, with the Nor Norwegian welt. So these are, these, these thorough goods come with a nitrile cork sole, which <clears throat> Red Wing, come on guys, they went to the Vibram 430 mini lug sole on all of their Iron Rangers and Blacksmiths, which, I mean, which is fine. I mean, as far as using them, they're still very comfortable. But I mean, come on now, that, the little flake patterns that you get in these nitro cork soles, they just add to that beauty, that uh, just imperfect beauty that we learn to appreciate about natural leathers mm -hmm. and natural boots. All right. Um, Ryan's messaging me on Instagram. This, Ryan is the owner of Pisgah Range Limited Laces. We actually are in the middle of uh recording episodes on a boot podcast so stay tuned for that it's called the last call boot podcast and as i said it is still in the works we're recording episode six tonight so he messaged me i'll have to get with him when i'm done here but uh okay the only issue these, these are very extremely comfortable boots um if you know about Thoroughgood, you are well aware that they come with these, these insoles. Ooh, dirty insole. <laughs> Wasn't ready for the, uh, for the video on that part, but these insert, these uh, footbeds, extremely comfortable. And they also have a pour-on, pour-on uh, midsole. And these actually come with an extra padded heel, uh, little heel pad, which virtually gets rid of any possible break-in period these guys are comfortable right out of the box okay maybe not right out of the box it took okay i wore them out to dinner the first night i got them and they were comfortable in a matter of three hours they were comfortable okay and they've only gotten more comfortable since so the only issue I personally had with them, maybe not too many people have with them, I had an issue with the tongues sliding to the side. So as you can see, I don't have that problem anymore. And that's because I made, uh, I cut some slits into the tongues to keep them centered through the laces. Uh, I just put these on before I started recording. I just made the ones on my indigos because i haven't worn those in a while but i did these about two weeks ago on these and they are working very good they always slid out to the outside of my shoe and that would make the the laces start rubbing onto the 
the front of my, like the metatarsal into the ankle there. So that was the only issue I had, but it was an easy fix. I am not scared to just grab a little razor blade and obviously carefully uh, measure and make sure that they're symmetrical, but they look, they look fine. And obviously with these laces, this is not even something that you're going to notice with with that so let me just let me just show you a little bit more of the boot so these here are a little bit different from the desert sands these have just the 1892 1892 is the year that thoroughgood was established okay thoroughgood since 1892 you see what i mean um, so these just have a these have a triple stitch but they just have a contrast white stitch all the same leather so the indigo is a chrome xl so that's you know i guess you could say it's a more fancy leather that they use in more expensive boots but the fact that it's indigo i just i love it and i had to get them so glad i have them part of the collection and uh i also have a f i think it's fall camo that i that i actually purchased for these here and uh they go good they go very good with them Check out my Instagram, guys. AJ's Exchange on Instagram. Uh, I post videos, uh, uh, or mostly photos, and also I post little videos about uh, getting your mind correct, getting your mindset in check. We all need some more of that, keeping our mindset in check. Uh, today we live in the information age. We also live in the age of easy access to bullying. So we all need to do our part to keep each other uh, confident, healthy, and uh, on top of our own game. So check me out on Instagram, man. I'm all about that positivity. Um, and the other thing is our denim and boot community on Instagram is like no other. We are very positive. Always very... Uh, just very nice and polite to each other uh, we appreciate each other for uh, being unique and different so if you haven't had a pair of boots or if you do have a pair of heritage style boots or any kind of boot or any kind of denim post those pictures up hashtag heritage boots heritage style all those good hashtags and um, or just go in the search bar man type in uh, Type in Heritage Boots, type in Red Wing, type in Thoroughgood, type in 1892 by Thoroughgood in the Instagram search bar and you will, you will open the door to one of the most magnificent communities, uh, a very valuable community, very valuable people, uh, just that I'm, 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 I'm honored to be a part of it, okay, just gotta say that and throw that out there, shout out to Boot Hunter on Instagram great man very good man uh, shout out to Arrow Surfer LV shout out to Rugged Workwear shout out to District Leather Supply shout out to Mark Albert Boots shout out to RM Thoroughgood Rich ooh geez oh I'm terrible now I'm terrible Dick something Dick Martin is it Dick Martin He's the he's the guy over at he's the marketing dude over at Thoroughgood. He is the one that designed all of these uh, 1892 Thoroughgood boots. He does all the he's in charge of it. He's the one that brought these roofers back to life. He's in charge of developing these colorways that we're enjoying right now. So uh, I'll do a quick little on feet for you guys just to show you. All right. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've got the uh, double, uh, double cuff, big cuff with these Brave Star Selvage denim. It's raw denim. It is sand fries, so we don't have to worry about shrinking too much, which I really love about that. With a uh, with a selvage denim, was uh, I'd, I'd prefer sand fries just because I don't want to come to any surprises during my first rinse and whatnot um, sizes tend to stay more consistent uh, the less shrinkage 
involved and uh, twist in the pant leg anytime you get sand fried, so uh, raw denim. All right, so I'm catching my uh, laces here. I really, really enjoy looking at those khaki tan laces with the desert sand leather from Thoroughgood. The Pisgah laces and the Thoroughgood desert sand lace, uh, leather just look fantastic together. Um, I'm wearing some Red Wing wool socks, wool blend socks. Uh, very, th those socks are very warm. Uh, I want to say, that, yeah, they're a wool blend. I'm not exactly sure what blend of fabric it is, but uh, or the name of them. But they are Red Wing, very warm, um, yet they wick away moisture. So you never have to worry about a soggy sock with uh, the Red Wing wool socks. Uh, let's see here. So you got that nice contrast of leather, which is my favorite part of this boot. Also, you have the brass rivets. The brass rivets really set these apart from most other uh, roofers. Uh, the original roofer from Thoroughgood came with those brass rivets, and I'm glad to see that they put them in. They incorporated them in this uh, 1892 Thoroughgood. Uh, actually, they don't have those uh, on any of the other roofers by 1892. The Portage roofers; these are the only ones with them. <clears throat> so. As you saw, I, I uh, just dropped down that uh, 19 ounce hatch attack. Uh, stay raw, that's something that they always say. Let's see, got the chain stitch showing. There's that contrast, the uh, green, emerald green stitching all the way through that, that boot. That whole upper is uh, held together by that contrast emerald colored green stitching, which is very nice. Uh, Let's see here. Dusting it off. Okay, so the boots, I think I wore them that day, those boots. So they're a little bit dusty. I work out in Arizona. I work, I work con construction. So uh, a lot of time my boots get <clears throat> fairly dusty just from, you know, in a matter of hours walking through the site, construction sites. Um, so I try to keep them, you know, I try to keep them brushed clean. Uh, with the horsehair brush, but, you know, I, not every night. Anyhow, let me just take these off here. Um, and as you can see there, that the little uh, tongue, the tongue keeper slits that I made keeps the tongue centered because if you notice, if anybody has ever owned a pair of these uh, portage roofers or any other leather shoe without tongue gussets, um, those 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 uh those tongues are gonna hike down to the side, left or right side, usually on the outside. But uh, just a just an amazing boot. These boots are very very just they're they're like no other boot. Okay, Let's just put it that way. Get yourself some these uh the brass hardware, the aglets matching the eyelets. Love it. Next we have the Indigo Chrome XL by Horing. Or Wayne Tannery. Uh, they do a lot of uh, leather. Uh, one of the more well-known tanneries in the U.S. Uh, I think they're out of Chicago too. So they're they're right up the street from the Thoroughgood uh, factory. Okay. So the Chrome XL is a looks like a natural colored leather, you know, and then it's chrome tanned or chrome yeah i think it's called chrome tanned with natural indigo dye which is amazing the same stuff that that denim is dyed with so uh, as you know indigo uh tends to fade over time um not in the same way that denim would but as you can see as i showed you earlier with the the scarring and the scuffing uh, that natural indigo, or that, I'm sorry, that natural leather is going to be peeking through that natural indigo, um, showing a, a nice contrast, as you see with the unfinished edges on all the seams of that boot. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm teasing you because I'm like, yeah, that tongue is not going anywhere with the tongue keeper uh, straps that I, you know, slits that I cut. Um, 
I mean, just look at that leather. It's it's really interesting. It's not exactly a navy blue color. You know, it's not really a royal blue color. It's it's really hard to tell when you put that indigo dye on leather. It dyes differently. There's you know you see a little bit of a hue, a natural brown hue coming through that. It almost looks green. Oh, I missed and that's why I chose those uh those uh I missed an eyelet on the top. Uh, missed an eyelet on the top. Don't you love when you do that? <laughs> These portage roofers have uh, how many eyelets is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eyelets? It's a lot of eyelets. So these laces, these laces are much longer than I use in my uh, six inch, uh, like my Red Wings, but they just have seven eyelets. Uh, these laces I had to get a little bit longer and uh, as you can see I get them plenty long because I love to have those uh, Pisgah aglets dangling around <laughs> I just like a longer lace not everybody does I do 1892 contrast white stitching that triple stitch is very uh, just in your face here's me doing the boot guy <laughs> boot guy does this with his uh, on feet also that cork the cork, the flake in the cork, the cork flake in the uh, nitro cork soles. This is me showing you that uh, they're super comfy, man. These boots are like sneakers with that with that uh, Eva insole. Um, just super, super nice. There's that uh, selvage cuff check. Shout out to End Day Denim <laughs> on Instagram. Doing the End Day real quick, real quick cuff check here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that blue and the, the olive drab laces, it kind of just brings the two together. It tie, the, the lace ties in the boot to the, uh, the denim, or should I say the boot ties in the lace to the denim. Uh, there's that Norwegian welt, just a very durable boot. Uh, I, I know I'm going to be having these boots for a long time. Um, yeah. yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this me blabbing about all right guys well that was my quick little review I know there was a lot of little uh, details I missed uh, but that was my video on my beloved Thorogood 1892 collection 823 3111s in the desert sand and horse rump and my 823 9111s in the indigo chrome xl leather both fantastic boots and even better made even better with the pisga laces Check them out on Instagram, 1892 by Thorogood. Uh, Pisgah Range LTD. Toughest Lace, hashtag Toughest Laces, period. Um, toughest Laces, period. So this guy, Ryan, he just had a dream. He just wanted to, he had a goal. He wanted to make some laces that people can afford. Don't break the bank to buy. Multiple colors. And just don't come apart. Pisgah Range Limited Laces, and Thoroughgood, 1892 by Thoroughgood. I'm Angel from AJ's Exchange. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and enjoyed my goofy ass uh, doing the on feet for you guys. It's fun doing it, so I just hope you guys enjoyed it half as much as I did. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.